Welcome! Today I'm going to talk about compound objects in Affinity Designer. So let's get started. For this tutorial, uh, let's use three rings and try to emulate the Olympic logo. So I already created some rings. Basically what we're going to do is the blue ones has to go over the red. Easy way. Copy them. We have a copy of them. Do an intersect, remove the part that from the intersection that is not necessary. So we want to get rid of this bottom part, remove the part. We already have something that is uh, almost good. In order to make it better and use compound objects, is I want this blue piece to be subtracted from the red. So we select the red and we press subtract. And you can see here, if I turn off the blue, that part is gone. But this is kind of destructive. I don't like destructive techniques. So let's make it not destructive undo that part we have again I want to subtract it but I want to have it not destructive so not destructive subtract is something that is called compound in affinity to subtract it non-destructively press the option key and then press the subtract button and then you will see that it says compound and the curve that we use to subtract is shown with together with the donuts that is here. So if we turn it on again, the idea is the same. We can even say, okay, hey, well, it was the wrong place. I can turn it on and off. That is the nice thing about the compound objects. So what is the power of compound objects? As I said, it is non-destructive. It gives you the possibility to play around. Suppose if I don't know if the blue is going to be on top or the red is going to be on top or the orange red, it's easy to create a, a compound object and then turn on and off the options. So let me show quickly how we can do that. I'm going to do the same trick with the blue, copy paste it, uh, find uh, the intersection, split into two groups, and then I'm going to put that red on top. And because red is already a compound object, I can easily add them to them and it will be a compound uh, object. I subtract it and I subtract this one either so I have two parts of it so in this case I can choose you know what I want this to be on top no I don't like it I want this to be on top so that is the power of compound objects it allows you to modify uh, your designs very easily without having to go back Interesting part is that the curve that we created was based on a compound object. So you see that it still contains the original donut and original curve that we cut out from the red. But this one has no use. You can remove it. It doesn't have an effect on uh, that. I hope that helped and uh, good luck.